And hello, hello everybody. This is old Toby and we're back in the world of Crucial. I'm out killing some stuff. I actually was just running back over here to make sure that I had a... I don't remember why I was here. I don't remember why. I think I was double checking something. I don't remember what it was. But anyway, we're going to head back to, uh, to the house. I've got the roof on. It looks luscious. And we're going to probably do some more exploring today to try and see if we can find another village and locate a leather worker. That's that's what we need, more than anything. So we can look on here and we can see, so last time we kind of went east and then we wrapped around. This time we're going to go, uh, we'll probably go west and wrap around. So we'll go this way and kind of wrap around on the top. And then if that doesn't help, if we don't find what we're looking for, we will go south and wrap around. So we're going to follow, and it'll follow us right in the middle. It'll be great. Yeah, it'll be awesome. All right. So let's take a look at the village, at uh, the village, at the house here. Turned out really well, I think. Really simple. But it looks nice. And there she is, a little homestead. You'll see I also uh, started growing some bamboo on the side, and I started a little farm, and I put some sugar cane down. So we've got this, we're starting to build up on more things. Oh, and I got my boat right here. And there's another uh, little cave here, and uh, an entrance probably to the same cave um, over here to the right. Got... Uh, some of the gold lanterns. I made some more. Uh, that's irritating. Uh, so we've got lanterns inside. I don't I didn't have enough to do everything. So this is looking pretty sharp, huh? Little homestead. Uh, I'm going to drop that off in there to cook. Not sure how the tallow works yet. I think it's just this and string will give you... Let's look, actually. That and string will give you some candles. And then you can... That melts them. Hello, it was dropped by pigs. All right, and then you can. I think you can color the candles if you want to. So eventually, we may make some little tables, possibly, and stick the candles on top of them and just have them around. Uh, but I think I've got enough food to go. Yeah, we're good, and we have our stuff. What time of day is it? It's almost nighttime, so we're probably gonna wait just a little bit. I'll show you this. I've got stuff going in here. I'm trying to keep those clear. Uh, carrots here, and that goes into potatoes here, wheat here, and then we've got that beetroot stuff, which I've never really, I don't use very often. And then this is pretty cool. This is a block that's made by, um, by putting plank, not, you take planks and then you get those into slabs and you put slabs in the 4x4 four four and you get this, and it's just this kind of carved wooden block. It's really sharp, and I went ahead and put a few little steps into the cave to make it a little bit easier so when we have our backpack and we go spelunking in here it'll be uh it'll be awesome but at this point i just don't want to go too deep because i keep having to come back to drop stuff off if you know what i'm saying and i think you do uh so we're gonna leave that i had one extra oh let me get rid of that okay well, shoot. Let's go ahead and go, and we will uh, just... We'll be alright. We can sleep out under the stars. Uh, so we're going to head... Oh, wait. Uh, oh, that way is south. Oh, so we'll go this way. Oh, okay. Wow. I was all confused. But I'm kind of looking forward to see what's over here anyways, because we haven't really gone that far. Um, and as I said, I tried not to cheat and look when there was stuff, when it was uh, uh, pre-rendering the world. So there's a lot of stuff around here I don't know. Oh, so good. The, the god rays and stuff in the trees and through the leaves and then you've got like the bird sound around it's just 
immersive and wonderful, and I love it. And there you go. Uh, so we got the jungle over there, which we've been that way. Let's look at let's look at it a little bit bigger here, because it keeps it centered on us. Looks like we have desert over that way. Uh, Uh, let's sleep. So, because of our learning experience at the very beginning, I don't think this resets our spawn, it just does away with night, which is pretty awesome. So, real quick, let's swap here. We'll cross. Ooh. Oh. Uh, that's awesome. I want to say that I've seen that. I think we saw that when we were passing through last time. Oh, down to another cave. Okay, let's kind of move along the edge here. Hello, pig. So awesome over there. All right, let's uh, let's run around this little cove here. I don't want to get in the water. I'm trying to think of the places where. Oh, a bunch of turkeys over there. I want. Uh, I want them for their feathers. Thank you. And we got some turkey legs. Um, I was trying to think of the places that, in regular Minecraft, that uh, villages spawn, and I want to say it's jungle, taiga, and plains, and desert. And I think that's about it, but there may be more in this modded biz. And I love the different types of pig, rather than just all pink. Oh, actually, I'm going to get this, because it's bothering me. <clears throat> oh boy, that's a big old indication. Oh, hello, deer. I killed one of these deer while I was waiting. It came right down next to the house, and so I killed one, and you get venison from it. And I think that might be it. I didn't, unless leather can drop as well. Uh, oh man, you're gonna get killed down there, deer. So it looks like the jungle kind of overlaps here. Yep, just a little bit. We'll keep going to where we're about halfway here, and then we'll curve around that way. Oops. Oh. And we'll see what's see what's what. Actually. that sound yeah that's cool just ooh, wait fire burns okay that's all right, all right let's get out of here before it slows down the game Back to the uh, the shore, and we'll keep heading northward. Or, I guess it's northward. We've wrapped back around. I do love this, man. It's so awesome. And more jungle over here. And more lava. Oh, I heard a spider somewhere. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. That is somewhere relatively close. Hmm. Okay, we're going to keep moving this way. Let's kind of turn this way. Pig. And all that coal there. 
And you're welcome. I'm not going to get any of it. Looks back into... Okay, looks like we're just kind of skirting the edge of a jungle here. And that's pretty awesome, too. It's got some glitchy shading on it, but that's cool. Oh, what is that up there? Uh, well, let's cut through. Um, part of me thinks I should get a, gun a, a gungle, a jungle tree, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. There's some plenty close by if we need it. For a second, I thought that was some kind of uh, villagey building. Okay, um, we'll go a little bit further. I'm thinking too that we could also find. Oh, what was that? We could also find like a temple, uh, one of the jungle temples, conceivably. I have only found, I think, maybe one or two of those my whole time in Minecraft. In worlds that I've been playing. I'm just going to kind of check along the edge here and see. And we'll use the uh, binocular dino vision to, uh, to see. I'm not seeing anything. It looks like just jungle. So those jungle villages can really kind of blend in. Let's look along the horizon here. Any kind. Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, let's look at this again. Uh, so it kind of starts curling back that way. Let's go a little bit further this way just to see we'll kind of go over this next rise here and we'll see if anything's there <clears throat> we have to kind of do this in a, a like a, a smart way so that we're not just going straight we want to do kind of circles and um, since the way the world is pre-rendered I think it'll be a benefit if we go in the concentric spiral that if it's concentric spiral is that or is that correct that's kind of how it was done it was done in a spiral in concentric circles. So we'll kind of run over here. It's a huge tree. Well, okay, we're gonna turn our way this go north now, I guess. And uh, then I got another big well, we'll kind of curve over here and go this way. <clears throat> The thing that stinks is that once we even find the village, it may not necessarily have the villager that we want. And uh, if it doesn't, I don't know enough about villager stuff to make that villager appear. Oof. Let's do some hopping. <clears throat> we'll just check and see. I would love to just come across. Oh, I'd love to just come over the top of a hill and see one. Oh, we got pumpkins, which I can grab. Oh, actually, I'm growing pumpkins, I think, back at the house. But I'll get one just to be safe. Pushing the wrong button. All right. Yeah, so we're going to head back up and kind of curve curve around. And then if this doesn't work, we'll go... So this must be north. We'll go south of our base. 
and kind of clear out this area. So we have a good chunk of space around us uncovered. Oh, spruce, so we could get a taiga biz there. Ooh, this is that good. What is this stuff? Just marble. <clears throat> I was thinking in uh, in Railcraft, there's that uh, quarried stone, which I love. Come on, just look at that. It's beautiful. Oh. go. Make it a baby. <clears throat> uh, which way are we heading? I got turned around. Uh, yeah, that way. Kind of check over here a little bit and see. Ooh. Lorva. <clears throat> oh, that's... Oh. Terrifying. Uh, how far have we gone? Let's go a little bit further over this way. I just want to look in here and see if there's something. the green rock. It's kind of hard to tell with the uh, the mossy cobblestone showing up. Each time you see one it looks like it could be a village. And it would show up, too, on the map as well. So we're just kind of moving along the edge here, kids. Another cave. Holy moly. That's awesome. That's a big one. Okay, anything? Nope. Well, kids, this is where I get torn uh, because I keep thinking, should I keep going or should I go ahead and cut the video? Uh, I think I may stay with it this time, and then next time we'll cut. Um, if we're searching for something sp uh, specific. I like how the uh, dark oak is kind of spread around in this one, not so clumpy. That's cool. Okay, let's double check this. Oh, village! This way? How did I miss it? There it is! I can see. Oh. Ah. Hail and well met, villagers. Now, please let there be a stinking stinking here. Alright. Please, I need food so that I might not die. And if there is one, let me have what he wants to trade. Oh, there's a blacksmith, so let's go check the blacksmith out. Gold and bread. And I will take this. You have no need of that. Alright, so leather worker. What's he look like? That's toolsmith. 
Uh, let's take that out of my hand. Toolsmith, what do you give? And an iron shovel with efficiency to unbreaking. Ooh, if you have a br damaged anvil and some iron stuff, he'll fix it for you. Nice. Okay, who are you, friend? A cleric. For th that, you will give me things. Okay. Come here. That's a uh, leather worker. So what do you want for a backpack? Okay, so. Oh, how do I do this, then? Uh, I need to run around and kill a bunch of, a bunch of guys and get the leather. Uh... And, uh, Emerald. Okay, so... It's, he looks like a butcher. So he's got the white apron. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I guess I need to hang out here. Who are you, friend? Fletcher. Oh, I think something's gonna be bad here and hurt me. I need to get out of the water. Oh boy. Alright, so, uh, what do we need to do... I'm just gathering up some stuff that I need. Oh, but hey, buddy, there's another leather worker. For a backpack, same thing. So twelve emerald and twelve leather. So oh, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, well, shoot, were there any cows around? There's a bunch of pigs everywhere. All right, cows. And then not only that, I'm gonna have to go find a bunch of emeralds, which emeralds may be in in this kind of hilly place right here. But I'm a little afraid. Well, you know, I guess no time like the present, huh? Uh, I have a chest. I'm gonna set up. Well, I'll do it inside. I've got a couple torches. Let's go. We're going for it. So I need 12 emeralds, unless I trade and get emeralds for trade. Ooh, that may actually be a better solution. Rather than going in and searching for stuff and dying because I don't have a backpack, maybe I should just try and trade with the farmer. Uh, I think that would be a smarter thing to do. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me the chance to uh, figure that out on my own. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Alright, so you. You are the butcher. You require 16 of those things. Okay. There are so many pigs around here. Let's, let's clear them out. Oh, and I'm destroying their crops. <laughs> this is something they could easily do themselves, but... Uh, they apparently don't want to, um, so they want me to do all the killing. I, maybe they're vegetarians only in the sense that they don't want to kill the animals, but they don't mind eating them. So, if someone else does it for them... Pigu... Where might you be? How many do I have? I have 11. Didn't I run past like 40 pigs in this village? They've got to be back this way then. They're actually in the village. And then if I could find... Oh, the farmer. Here he is. Here's the farmer. Report to me, farmer. You'll give me stuff. Now the Fletcher will give me... Oh, no. Come on, where's the farmer? Because if I do this work for him, he'll give me goods as well, won't he? I think so. Let's find a farmer. Huh. Okay, you are a leather worker. No. You are a Fletcher. No farmers in this village? Ooh, there's a... Come on, a farmer. Oh, here's one. Report to me, leather worker. What do you want? 12 and 16. I don't like you as much as the other guys. Cleric? No. 
Leather worker. Oh, this is three leather workers? 12 and 16. I don't like you either. All right. Butcher. Here's... Oh. How many of these things am I going to have to kill? Oh, that's cool. Okay, farmer. Toolsmith. Oh. Ha. Crucial guide. New chapters unlocked. All right, so let's see what you... Oh. All right, did you... Yeah, you're doing the fart bubbles. All right, come on. Um, let's see, so new stuff unlocked. What will you give me? For seven... Oh, man, that's not bad. I could get... For one thing, I'll give me two gold lanterns. That's actually pretty good. Is there a farmer anywhere? Oh, hello, pigs. Report to me and die. There you go. Death to you. Report and die. Pigs. Okay, that is now 15. It's going to take forever. Okay, so I think <laughs> what I may do is cut the vidya, continue to run around and do the, the bidding of these sacks of, uh, of irritation. And, um come back when I have the things I need. That's a lot, actually. Are you? What are you? Toolsmith again. Oh. Uh, I don't want them to show up and die. I need to drop off a bunch of this junk. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, wait. Put? Okay. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. I will probably cut the video here and waste a crap ton of time. Oops, that was a mistake. Here, where's my seeds? And uh, gather up all the goods that I need to gather to make these guys happy and trade with me. Uh, leather worker, butcher, 15. Uh huh. He's got the bubbles. All right, so now, once he gets the bubbles, we get a new one. That's 16. Uh, okay, I don't want any of that, but that's not bad. 16 for an emerald, so that's three. So we'd still have a little bit to go. All right, I will catch you guys in just a little bit. A few moments later. And hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. I was out running around doing biz, uh, dropped off a bunch of stuff in the chest uh, over there, and I heard this, dug down, there is a crap ton of things in here. And, uh, part of me thinks I should go after it, and, uh, one of the trades... Um... There it is, it's over there. One of the trades that they're asking for is... Uh, zombie, zombie flesh, and part of me is thinking that this might be a good. A good thing to go for. I don't know if it is. Oh! I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but I noticed another, you know, that one trade that we had that was good was for coal. Um, so I thought maybe going after coal would be a smart idea. Uh, so... Uh, block. I don't want to let them out or in here. Uh, but I need to go after this coal. Oh, did they just disappear? I think they did. Yeah, all those mobs just disappeared. Uh, sweet, I'll take it. So 
sleep. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Oh, we got thunder outside. Okay, this may not be the best thing to do. <laughs> uh, that's terrifying. So, this is what I was doing. I have just been running around, uh, killing pigs, and trying to gather up the stuff. Uh, one of the places... One of the guys wants coal. So I've been kind of dropping stuff off as I go. Uh, I thought I thought about trading in. One of the guys wants. Uh, one of the guys wants uh, raw chicken. So there's a bunch of different options really uh, to trade in. So we're just going to work our way through that and try and get that trade done so we can get the backpack up and running. So, okay, just wanted to jump in real quick, let you know what's going on. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Hold on. A few moments later. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. The uh, best strategy turned out to just be getting as much coal as possible and trading it. So I think we're just about at the point where we need it. I've gone. I went back into that cave, cleared out all the stuff, and uh, we are uh, just about to get the last bit of what we need to trade. I've had to trade a bunch of the coal to get. Uh, emeralds and then trade some of the emeralds for leather because I can't find any cows anywhere. Um, and then uh, we're now doing uh, the last bit to get the last little bit of emeralds. And it's not been too bad. They keep getting stuck. So I've got a bunch of em uh, coal. And this is the last little bit of it. I'm probably doing a little overkill on it, but I'd rather... I'm tired of tooting around, so I want to make sure I have it all. Okay, I think I got the last of it here. I cleared out this and that. Woo! Let's get out. Clear out the rest here. There's a bunch over there. Oh, down this way. So let's block it up so they don't get out. And yeah, I think I'm where I need to be. I, I think I have to get one more emerald. Uh, I kept hunting around for a farmer. Uh, toolsmith was he was the one uh, he won't help me I kept looking for a tool uh, for a, a farmer guy butcher he will help me yeah so let's do this okay so he's full we now have 18 and I think that's what we need I think we needed 16 the guy that we want to talk to is actually hidden down here oh wait no where is he there's one that's stuck in the floor uh, over here. Here he is. I think he had the best deal. I got confused between... Wait, no. That's the Fletcher. What the what? Oh, here he is. <gasps> Leather worker. There we go. Oh, see, good. So 12 and I have more than I needed. Good. Ah, now I hope that it unlocks and I can now build it myself, maybe? Let's see. Um, let's go into... No, 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 not there. Let's go into E. Um, back. This is something that unlocked. Uh, useful keybinds, enough items. Tools. No. Mechanics. Red banners, compass changes. Piston, no. Well, I have it. That's all that matters. So can I wear it like that? I sure can. Look at that. I do lose my... Uh... Oh, that's so good. Okay. I'm going to take the rest of that stuff with me back home. We'll get rid of that and this. We'll put all this junk in there. Oh, so good. And let's gather up this stuff. Sweet. So if I hit E, it, no it just opens up my regular inventory. Oh, so good. I can put all that junk in there. That is so cool. Alright, so we have a bunch of extra biz. 
Um, let's grab this and let's head back home. And then we'll drop this stuff off and uh, we can go into the cave uh, and uh, carry a bunch of stuff with us now. That's fantastic. All right, so where is our... Oh, it's so good. I used almost all of my iron pick getting that stuff. Okay, so where is home now? Uh, I think it's back over this way, right? Yeah, okay. Home again, home again. Let's go. That's awesome. Uh, we're close. If I have to sleep in the middle of the night, I will. I will bring you guys back in once we have... Uh, oop. Once we're back home. Okay, see you in a bit. A few moments later. All right, I think we're almost at home. I've got to stop recording for a little bit because there's a bad storm outside. <laughs> and I don't want to take a chance. Yeah, here it is. I can tell by the, the stuff of recording while the storm happens and losing power and everything. Crapping out. Hey, butterfly in the house. All right, so let's drop off goods. Let's got, drop off stuff we want to cook. Put all of the food items in here. Uh, this stuff here. I'm so excited that we have all this stuff. Uh, tallow goes there. This goes here. This goes there. Uh, let's open up the backpack. Oh, baby. Let's clear all this stuff out. It's so good. All right, so let's get rid of this. That and that and that and that. This can stay and that can go. And then all that stuff can go away. Yeah, listen to that. I gotta finish up here quick. That can go. Well, I don't know. That's alright. We'll put that someplace else. Bread can go. We've got some emeralds now, which is great. Uh, we've got a bunch of that, so let's swap this up. A skadoink. And do that here. Skadoink now. Uh, nice. Keep that on us. Uh, that can go there. This can go up here. I guess let's go ahead and put that in there for now. Uh, we'll move this down. That up. That up. Sweet. And we got some iron to cook up. Go ahead and do that. So when we cut, when it comes down to it, we will swap over to our uh, backpack. Let's make sure it's empty. We have an axe. We will swap over to the backpack. Let's sleep. Oh, it's not time yet. That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm, we're actually going to go ahead and cut the episode here instead of uh, finishing up. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, we've got it. Next time, deeper into the cave. <laughs> let's go look at the let's go look at the sunshine. Ah, uh, making sure there's no creepers sneaking up. All right, we'll catch you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.